All right, we're here with Limestone Tennis Head Coach Alan Ferguson after Limestone's doubleheader here against um, Erskine College. Coach, just first talk about the men's big 7-2 victory today. Yes, uh, I thought the men uh, did a great job today. We were, it was a great weekend for us, and uh, today was senior day for our men, so uh, we had a goal of sending our players out uh, with, with a victory, and uh, the, the doubles, they came out with a lot of intensity and worked very hard in getting a 3-0 lead, and it carried over into singles and uh, had great play from both our singles players, all our singles players. Anybody in particular stand out for you today as having a particularly good match? Well, I know that our number one player played a great player from Erskine, and uh, he was off the court, and one of the first players off the court, and set the tone for the singles matches. And uh, so Antoine Lador, uh, as a senior, was did more than we was expected of him. Now going over to the women's side of the things, tough loss here, but against the conference leading Erskine. What was the difference here in the, today's match? The girls did quit themselves really nicely. Yeah, uh, Erskine, as you know, is undefeated currently in our conference, and uh, they uh, they came in uh, a great program. Calhoun Parr has a great program there, and uh, he he was under the weather with some of his players. Uh, we were fortunate to to squeak out a 5-4 loss, but uh, we had opportunities to really turn that into a to a victory, uh, coming down to our number five and six players and. To, to clinch, we would have had to win both of those matches in singles, and uh, we came up short at number five, but uh, we're going to make some changes, and we have Anderson on Monday, but Erskine is, is a great program, but we're looking forward to hopefully competing with them again in the conference tournament. And um, for the women, who were some of the standouts individually did you, did you notice out here today? I tell you, I tell you we, had, we had great play from Marion Pinade at number two with a singles victory. At number three, our senior in, uh, in doubles, Ariel and Julia started us off with a one point after doubles. And then uh, Man, Man and Janin at three singles uh, came off with a victory, which tied it up at two all, went to three all quickly. And um, with, uh, I tell you, Alexandra Boulin that played one, uh, our freshman is, is playing extremely well, but she's up against a lot of competition. Everybody has a great number one, but she fights to the last point. She almost turned that match around, uh, serving at 5-4 in the second set to take it to the third set and came up a little short. But uh, I'm telling you, she's a great fighter. All the girls work so hard, and I don't think there's one any stronger than the other. So they're all deserving of, of this short victory, but uh, we're happy for our seniors to, to give them a great day. Now looking at you've already mentioned the Anderson's coming up. What did the Saints need to do to continue to have a strong finish here going to the conference tournament? Yeah, we're, we're fortunate because we do have a few more matches left and we're hoping to play them into shape a little more and get better competition. And at the same time, it's going to give us the opportunity to make some changes. Uh, the ladies are going to face a great Anderson team down there coached by Joey and uh, we're, we're going to be pushed at one, two, and three, four, five, and six. We're hoping that we'll, we'll help settle things. We're just going to try to sweep the doubles. That's our first goal. And if we can come out with a sweep there, we've met the goal for the match. All right. Well, thanks, and Congratulations on today and to all the seniors. Oh, we're, we're happy to have them, and we hope that they come back and visit with us as much as they can and stay in touch. All right. Thanks, Coach. You bet.